I'm Peter R. Bregan, MD, and I am a psychiatrist. And the subject today is medication spellbinding. It's presentation number three in my series about simple truths about psychiatry. Now, the first present. Now, you guys, why am I being such a weirdo? I was asked to talk about spellbinding the other day, and I forgot. I apologize. I've been talking about so much, and I'm not an authority. I, I'm just trying to share what I've experienced in this. I mean, look at me. You know, I, I don't even think I brushed my hair. Well, I did. It's very windy here today. <laughs> I love him. He's on YouTube. I'm sure he's on a lot of other channels, but look him up if you want to learn about, you know, a lot of this stuff. Spellbinding? My God! Okay, I'll give you an example. They gave me something for anxiety, right? They gave me Xanax. And it was to help me sleep, you know, and help me calm down. Well, it sure the hell did, but then all of a sudden I couldn't sleep at all. And I was having panic attacks. I'd never had panic attacks before. I was like, what the hell? I was getting worse. They told me my original symptoms were getting worse. And I believed them. So they increased the medication, right? And then I found myself going through that again. Like it would work for a minute and then I would go through it again. And they go, oh my God, you're getting even worse. You're going to need even more, you know, and they start throwing more meds at me. Well, guess what? In the very beginning, when I first started having those panic attacks, after I started taking the medication, if I had realized it was the medication causing the panic attacks and just stopped it, then I would have been just fine. You guys wouldn't even know me right now. I wouldn't be sitting here bouncing like this. Medication spellbinding is when you believe the medication is working, but it's actually causing the symptoms. But you believe it's wonderful stuff and it's really working for you because when it first hits you, it feels wonderful and it feels like it's working. If it says it's for anxiety, guess what you're going to wind up having? Panic attacks and more anxiety. It just keeps going. We call that a hamster wheel in the groups. Oh, your symptoms are getting worse. Oh, this medication must not be working for you anymore. Let's add this. And then you start having side effects from that. And then they have to add something else. And pretty soon you don't know what's going on. You think you're a very sick person when the whole time you're just being poisoned by these medications. It starts with one pill. Do your research. There's no excuse anymore. I didn't have all this information when I started taking these medications. <laughs> I hate to call them that. They're poison. Mind-altering chemicals. They cause physical changes. That's the best I can do with that one. Watch Peter. He he's he's the authority. Okay. I love you guys. I was able to eat some spaghetti. <clears throat> I'm trying. Forever windows. Like I said, I'm not an authority. <laughs>